Okay, so today we're going to look at all the different usages of the word slack. So we have pick up the slack or take up the slack. We have slack off, we have slacker, and we have cut me some slack or give me some slack. So this is a great word, the word slack. Um, we have lots of idioms and lots of interesting vocabulary that are connected to this word. So we'll look at the origin of slack and then this will help you better understand any term or idiom that you might hear in conversation and it will also help you use this in daily conversation. So let's look at this picture here. Uh, slack is a nautical term. It's a nautical term. It comes from sailing. Um, I love sailing, so I hear this all the time on the boat. And basically what we're going to look at first is we're going to look at this picture. We have a rope. Now, we don't really say rope when we're on a sailboat. We say line. So we say, oh, uh, can you grab that line? And it just means grab that rope. Now this rope or this line is wrapped around a winch. So this is a winch. And this is very important because the winch holds the line in place. You can wrap it around and then you can lock it. You can lock it just in here. And basically when you lock it, uh, you can then tighten it more. So what you're doing is you're making sure that the line is as tight as possible when you wrap it around and you can make it tighter if you want. And what it will do is that will control the sail. So that will make the sail uh, very nice and full and it will make a good shape. The rope will be nice and tight. Uh, so that's why we have this winch. Now, on a sailboat, you want to make sure that all your ropes or all your lines are nice and tight if they need to be. Um, they should be tight and they should also be clean. They should be clean. So what that means is they should be in the right place. They should be wrapped around the winch or they should be uh, coiled up. So coiled up basically means so coiled, coiled up coiled up means uh, you wrap them up and they're they're in kind of uh, a nice shape so that they don't cause any trouble on the deck like it's not messy it's coiled up um, it's clean everything is where it needs to be you want that because if you have a rope just um, on the deck and it's kind of loose and it's not in the right place someone could trip over it they could fall it can also whip around uh, with the wind. So we always want to make sure that our ropes or our lines are coiled up or they are tightened on the winch. We want to make sure everything is clean. Okay, so now if the rope is not like that, it's not coiled up, it's not nice and clean, it's kind of all over the place and it's very messy, then we say the rope is slack. So the rope is slack when it's like this, it's all over the deck. There's a lot of excess rope, excess. So there's a lot of excess or extra. There's a lot of extra rope and that's dangerous because now that rope can fly all over the place. People can trip over it. So when we see that extra rope, we know we have to clean it up and the captain will say, can you take up that slack? So when we have this extra rope, we call it slack. All that extra rope is slack. Can you take up that slack? Can you pick up that slack? Get rid of that slack. So <laughs> slack on a boat basically means something that's extra, something that's excess, and it could be dangerous. It's not supposed to be there. And if you see all this slack, you might think, wow, that crew of the boat, uh, they must be very lazy because they're not taking care of the slack. Okay, so that's the origin of slack. So now, because you know that, when I say pick up the slack, you can imagine, uh, you can see in your mind, 
that there's lots of rope and we need to pick it up and we, we need to clean it. Now this idiom uh, refers to the same thing but in different situations. For example, in a workplace, if you pick up the slack in a workplace, you're basically uh, doing some extra work that someone else didn't do, maybe because they're lazy. So if you say like, hey, Joe, I have to pick up the slack uh, because you didn't do anything. You left early and I had to pick up your slack. That means you had to take their rope and you had to clean it up and do that extra work. So you take up the slack or you pick up the slack. Take up the slack is good when we're talking about something on a boat, like actually the physical slack. Pick up the slack is more of the idiom uh, term that we use in other situations. So you can pick up someone's slack. That would probably be bad for you because you're doing extra work. Also, you can tell someone, hey, you need to pick up the slack. So, hey, Joe, pick up the slack. You need to pick up the slack. That means you need to speed up. You need to do your work. You need to not be lazy. So pick up the slack. All right, now, if we go to slack off, you can kind of guess. It's a little weird, but slack off basically means to be lazy. So if you slack off, it means you are being lazy and you are like producing that slack. You are leaving the extra rope, leaving the excess rope, and other people have to clean up after you. So you could say, hey, Joe, don't slack off. You're slacking off so much and now I need to pick up your slack because you're not doing your work and now there's all this extra work. Don't slack off. If you are a student um, and you're not studying, and you're, not, you're not preparing for your tests, someone can say, you know, you really need to uh, pick up the slack and don't slack off. You need to study. You need to prepare. Slacker. Okay. Slacker is someone who is always slacking off. Slacking, uh, slacker is someone who is lazy and doesn't go to class or they don't do their assignments. Um, a slacker in a workplace is someone that they come in and they look, you know, not ready for work. Maybe they're not dressed appropriately. They don't have the right attitude. They're, they're a slacker. Uh, so, hey, Joe, you've been slacking off. You need to pick up the slack or I have to always pick up your slack and you are definitely a slacker. Okay, the last thing is if, you, if someone wants to get slack or they say give me some slack, it basically means uh, they want you to uh, relax be nice to them. Like, don't complain about them being lazy. So if I say, come on, cut me some slack, or come on, give me some slack, it basically means, hey, uh, just like, uh, <laughs> be easy uh, on me. Don't be too hard on me. Um, let me just do my thing and, uh, and it will be okay. So just cut me some slack, you know? Just leave me alone. Cut me some slack. Um, usually if someone says cut me some slack, they could actually be working hard and uh, maybe you misunderstood what they were doing and you thought they were lazy. So I could say, you know what, cut me some slack, give me some slack. I've actually been working very hard. But they could also be a slacker and they could be not working hard and they could say cut me some slack and you can say no. You don't deserve any more slack because you've been slacking off.